Price action is the simplest and easiest form of reading and analyzing a market. But the problem is that many traders are complicating their process and analyze things on the chart that are irrelevant. Let me show you an easy method to read price action without needing to memorize dozens of candlesticks or stare at the charts for hours to find patterns. You know the drill. Like, subscribe and stick around for the full video. The first thing you should look for when you are analyzing a chart is the spread of recent candles. The spread is the difference between a candle's open and its close. This is the real body of the candle. The spread reveals the sentiment for that candle. A wide spread between the open and the close indicates strong market sentiment, either bullish or bearish, depending on whether the closing price finished above the opening price or below it. And if the body of the candle takes up at least 50% of the entire bar range, then you are seeing a trend bar. Trend bars represent the meat of the market fluctuations. The concept of trend bars is very simple. Price action simply creates a solid candle with small wicks at the top or at the bottom, and is suggesting a strong and a likely continued sentiment in the direction of the candle. A trend candle represents strong market sentiment, and a narrow spread one shows a weak market sentiment. If we analyze this chart between these two points, there were no instances of consecutive trend bars that closed in the same direction. We had several trend bars, but they were isolated instances. When we had consecutive trend bars, they actually closed in opposing directions. Here we see consecutive bullish trend bars. It shows evident bullish strength. Very important. When the trend is strong, you'll see many trend bars in the same direction of the trend. And if there are no trend bars for the past 10 bars, for example, then the market is likely consolidating. The upper and lower wicks of the candlesticks reflect the buying and selling pressure. Consider wicks as rejection areas, where the market simply rejected the prices of the wick. When you see a wick that is large, that wick is clearly telling you that the market was not accepting the previous prices. Time frame is important here, and we'll talk about this later. If you are trading on the 5-minute charts, then the market has rejected that price level with that week, but only for the past 5 minutes, which is not that significant. However, when you start to look at the 4-hour or the daily charts, that week is more significant. The length of the week, either at the top or the bottom of the candle, is always the first point of focus, because it instantly shows strength weakness, or indecision. And most important, where buyers or sellers are entering the market. In fact, the wick itself is not important. The price level at which the wick occurred is what matters. Taking a look at this chart, notice how every time the market reversed, it did so with a large wick, and almost at the same price level. This is telling you that the market simply didn't accept prices at this level, with sellers aggressively entering the market quickly, causing the price to drop faster. So, when you analyze a chart, you start by paying more attention to trend bars and bars with long shadows. Now, in a market, there are trends at various levels. Consecutive bars closing in the same direction is one of the easiest way to identify minor trends. The number of successive bars matters too. The more, the better. When you have consecutive trend bars in the same direction, you have lots of momentum. In many cases, consecutive price bars will help you to identify sustained price movements.
the degree of overlap with the previous bar tells you the current market phase and the power of the price bar. In a strong trend, there is very little overlap of the bodies of consecutive bars. For example, in a minor uptrend, many candles have lows that are at or just below the closes of the prior candles. Some candles don't even test the close of the prior bar, and traders trying to enter with a limit order at the close of the prior bar won't get their orders filled, so they have to buy higher. The point is, if you find minimal overlap between a candle and the preceding one, it implies urgency, and start paying more attention to this. In this bearish down move, many bars have highs that are at or just above the closes of the prior bar. This shows strength. And it's an important sign because the market is unable to go higher, and it keeps pushing lower. So if no wick or a very small wick is created, then this signals strong market sentiment in the direction of the closing price. It indicates urgency in the market. If the bar you are looking at overlaps entirely with the previous bar, the market doesn't have the greatest momentum. This is especially true with inside bars. Inside bars are smaller and within the range of the prior bars. 100% overlap bars and consecutive candles that are overlapping are a clear sign of market congestion. In a strong uptrend, you'll see wicks below the bullish bars. This represents a good signal that the buyers are in control of the market and that are trying to push the prices upward. You'll also see wicks above the bearish bars in a strong downtrend. This shows that the sellers are in control and that are successfully pushing the prices downwards. Pay more attention to candlesticks that test any support or resistance areas. You may find that the candle has difficulty breaking through the level. Or you may find that the candle completely ignores the level and breaks it with ease. In either case, they help you to formulate a trading approach. If we look at the recent price action, I see a test of this support level which resulted in a bullish pin bar. As I said before, a long shadow implies bullish pressure. On the other hand, the market completely ignored this resistance level and broke above it decisively. So let's assume that the price broke a significant resistance level. All trading manuals say that in order to trade a breakout, you must wait for a price to retest the breakout level. But very important, in a strong market, you will not get a retest. The buyers are unwilling to let the price drop lower. There is little profit taking after the breakout. So price won't come back to retest the breakout level. So when you see an important area and price breaks it and has strong upward momentum without retesting the level, there's again a sense of urgency, a higher volatility and high momentum. When you are reading price action, analyzing only the 15-minute chart, for example, won't bring you consistency in the longer term. You need more information. When a particular time frame don't make sense, then move to the next higher time frame at least for the big picture. Or even on a lower time frame for the microstructure of the move. When you are trading price action, you need a top-down analysis, which is a more efficient and effective way to trade. A simple top-down approach means marking out the support and resistance first on the higher timeframes. 
Then you read price action on the higher time frames and see what the price is telling you and where it may be heading. Then, with that market structure in mind, zoom into the lower level details. Now, reading price action is not about finding pin bars, engulfing patterns, or seeing if there are more green candles than red ones. It's about observing price bars as they form and understanding what the market has done and is doing. A candle of the same type will have a completely different meaning depending on where it appears in a price trend. Is it at the start of a trend or in the middle of the trend or at the end of it? Is it at a support or resistance or is it in the middle of a consolidation phase? Candlesticks should be analyzed in the context of the price move. You should never try to read the candle in isolation. Analyzing multiple bars as a group on several time frames offers a lot more analytical value. Here we have two similar pin bars, but this one is more important. It appeared in the context of an uptrend with multiple trend bars at the support level while this one appeared after many candles are overlapping, so in a congestion area. The point is, start reading the current candle in relation to the previous bars. Is the current candlestick larger or smaller than the previous ones? Which recent candles are showing momentum increase or decrease? Is the size of the body meaningful or not? Are you seeing bullish or bearish pressure? Price goes hand in hand with volume. Is it possible to make money trading using price action alone? Sure, but price in combination with volume is 10 times better. First, you see what the candlestick is telling you, then you check the volume and see if it's validating or not the recent price action. Volume validates price, it's the fuel that drives the market. And the more fuel there is, the greater the market momentum. Volume confirms the strength of a candlestick or suggests its weakness. If the market is rising with a trend bar and we have volume which is increasing, then this suggests that we have a strong price move supported by an increasing number of buyers. This is buying volume and you expect the price move to continue in this case. If you have a trend bar, but you see decreasing volume, then this is a weak price move. If strong buyers were still in the market, then this would be represented by rising volume. And in this case, we have falling volume. So this is a warning sign that the buyers are no longer interested. The trend may be running out of steam. This is the first sign of a possible change in trend. Price alone can only tell you what the market's present technical position really is and where the trend is probably headed, but volume helps to validate the trend with more accuracy and also detects turning points and when to open or close trades. And together, they form a complete picture. I've talked about the volume spread analysis in this video, and if you haven't seen it yet, this must be your next video to watch. VSA seeks to establish the cause of the price movements by considering the imbalance between buying and selling. If you think about it, volume expresses interest and enthusiasm in one simple bar. All the buying and selling decisions of investors, retail traders and smart money are all contained in one volume bar. All the millions of trading decisions whether to buy or to sell are all captured in this one bar. Volume exposes the truth of a candlestick. It reveals the conviction in the recent price move. If the market is moving higher but with falling or low volume, 
then this is simply telling you that this is not a genuine move. Equally, if the market is decreasing with falling volume, then once again, this is not a genuine move. The more volume associated with the price move, the more that price move is validated. When there is low volume, few sellers in this example, then this price may simply not be validated. But when we have many sellers, this will reflect in high volume, and then our price is validated. It's really that simple. I hope that you can start to see how volume and price are the only two aspects of a chart that you need to understand. Learn how this work together, and you'll join the elite group of traders who have the ability to literally read the market and are able to anticipate where price is likely to be heading before it happens. If you want to see more videos like this one, leave us a like and subscribe. And check out our academy program if you want to further level up your trading. Until next time.